Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Catherine and it is day three of Designer December with Tangent Templates. So yeah, I'm sorry we're still running a little bit late, but we're catching up. So a little bit of an all-nighter, but now we're on top of things and hopefully we'll be bringing you each day's goodies a little bit earlier in the day. So we're working on that. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today is day three and I've already actually uh, put these pages together so you can have a look at the kind of things that you can make with today's images, which are Christmas, Christmas images. So um, there they are. We've actually added two new folders today. You've got Christmas gifts and ornaments. So let's have a quick look at the images. Loads of Christmas gifts here and some pretty Christmas trees. And also actually, if I go back to images, we added some very beautiful ornaments as well. So let me take you back to uh, our project that uh, I was looking at there. And these are three I made earlier. And what we're gonna do with uh, Designer December, as I mentioned at the beginning, is we're gonna give you presets for the interior designer so you can actually get these and just customize them. We haven't put the presets in yet. So we're running a little slow on the presets. We're just giving you the images at the moment, but we're working to add the presets as soon as we can. And I will let you know as soon as those are live, but you do have all the images so you can create these or something very similar to it. And I'm just gonna show you quickly how you can do that. So I've made three designs with these two folders of images. The first one here, this is a Christmas gift list. And pretty much this is like a page that you could include in any kind of sort of Christmas activity book, Christmas planner, Christmas journal. And it's really up to you how you use it. So the tree has big bubbles on it. It's like a bubble tree. I would suggest that this could be used as a wish list. So you could keep a list of, or your reader, your user, will keep a list of gifts they might want. That would be kind of a fun way to use this, especially for kids. So they could write in the big bubbles with like the gifts they really, really want. And maybe in the smaller bubbles, the gifts they don't want so much, like socks. I don't know, I really like socks. I, I'm, I'm always happy with nice socks, especially if they're like fluffy. So yeah, th this can be used as a, a gift wish list. It could also be used, you know, on Christmas when you're like trying to keep track of gifts and you're like, oh no, I've got to send like Auntie Edna a thank you card. You could use this to keep track of what gifts you've been sent as well. So there's a lot of different ways of using these and it's really all about how you communicate to your reader in your book, what they're supposed to do with the page. And it doesn't have to be a lot of content. You can just stick some text on there and say, keep track of which gifts you got or keep track of which gifts you would like. So there you go, that, that's one way to use these images as uh, a Christmas gift list like that. Now, a more straightforward way of doing Christmas gifts is just like this. Um, I piled a bunch of gifts on top of each other and in these, you can easily write what the gifts are. So this would actually be a really nice thing for um, parents maybe to just keep a list of what uh, what gifts they've bought for their children so far or what gifts they're planning to buy. So one way you could do this is like, I don't know, I've got three kids and they all want all kinds of like wacky things. What I could do is actually make a list. So in each box, I could be like, okay, well, Midnight wants a poster, Sid wants a PlayStation controller, Autumn wants a anime plushie. And I could write in there what they want. And then what I could do is put bows on the top and then color in the bows when I've bought the gift for them. So that would be kind of a fun way to uh, track those things. And it get creative. I know a lot of people don't get these kind of spreads like this, but just take a look at like bullet journal groups and forums or planner forums, and you'll see people love keeping track of things like this. And the more creative way they can find of keeping track of things, the better. So what I tried to do with this particular spread here is if we go back to our images and the Christmas gifts, I actually made a bunch of gift images 
there's three dimensional ones here and there's two dimensional ones and I use the two dimensional ones so like if, for example I delete that and we go back to Christmas gifts um, I would just select that box and pop that in there and of course we have all the align tools so you can select the boxes um, and align them in there I'm gonna make that black and what you can do is you can actually add uh, the bows so I've put all the bows separately so you can sort of have fun with this you can stick a bow on the top there and you, you can get really creative with this if you want to put a bow there you can do that so a lot of different ways of using these designs so as I say I use the two-dimensional images to uh, put those there so we have uh, the two-dimensional boxes there and the bows that you can mix and match with those um, but if we go back to our project uh, you can see that in this one I use the three-dimensional uh, boxes so those look a little bit different and they don't have quite so much space to write on so these ones are really good if you want to actually write in the spaces and you can see I actually used um, some boxes and circles here as well and you can do that just literally by selecting box and it will draw a box and I did rounded corners on them because uh, you can see it looks a little bit nicer when you do um, the rounded corners so you can have a lot of fun with this get really creative with it um, and make a space where people can write their wish lists their thank you lists anything like that as always think about niches think about how you can niche your journals maybe you can mix and match these designs with some of our other designs in here we're going to be adding more and more images all through this month up until Christmas so you've got a lot of ideas to play with there have a lot of fun with um, I hope you really enjoy these images as I say we're going to be aiming to get these designs uh, loaded in on pages you'll be able to find them under the rocket ship we're not there yet it's taking us a little bit longer to add the presets than we would like but they will be up there for now we're going to keep giving you the images we're going to be uploading those every day and I'm going to be making you a video like this each day to talk about it so I hope you're enjoying designer December we would love to hear um, what you're doing with this whether you're having fun with this um, any feedback you have on the images um, the interior designer tool is still in beta we still haven't quite cleared it from beta yet so if you do experience any issues do let us know support at tangent.rocks we love hearing from you we're happy to work with you and we hope you really have a blast with this and really enjoy using it oh and let me just show you what it looks like so you click download and of course it creates a PDF for you that's all ready to upload to KDP or the uh, publishing platform of your choice so these look really nice there's your PDF yeah it's pretty cool all right have a good one guys we'll see you tomorrow with day four bye